Yo, sorry if I don't put my intro at the beginning of every video. That's just because I'm lazy. Ha! You guys and girls thought that was the end of the video, didn't you? Nah, I wouldn't leave you like that. Come on. Uh, but anyway, that was basically just an intro for this meme I would say I found on TikTok. And I thought it was pretty funny. It's not really a meme, it's mainly just a joke. Well, I guess jokes can be memes. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I thought it was pretty funny. And I hope you all will as well. And also, let me know down in the comments if you would like me to get more videos from TikTok or something. And put them on here. Because I honestly think that would be pretty cool. But without wasting any more of your time, enjoy. An Englishman, a Scotsman, and an Irishman are exploring the desert when they find a large slide guarded by a beautiful woman. The woman tells them that when they go down the slide, they can yell out whatever material wish they want, and when they reach the bottom, it will be granted. So the Englishman goes down first, and halfway down the slide, he yells out, SILVER! And he lands in a large pile of silver. The Scotsman... You know, seeing the Englishman and his success goes down and halfway down the slide, he yells out gold. And, you know, obviously when he gets off the slide, he lands on a big old pile of gold. The Irishman gets up there and he takes a long moment to think about what he really wants. And as he's thinking, he trips and slips down the slide and yells, <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, uh, it's me again. I just viewed the video and I realized that was way too short. I'm sorry. So basically what I'm going to do is put a couple more from the same creator. So like I said, enjoy. <laughs> oh my gosh. So a lady pregnant with triplets goes into a bank and shortly following her is a robber. He fires his pistol into the air and yells, everybody get on the ground. Now, of course, pregnant lady with triplets got a big old belly. She can't get on the ground very fast. So he shoots her three times in the stomach. Later, once the incident has been resolved, she goes to the doctor to get her babies checked out on, and the doctor goes, all right, so each one of your babies caught one of these bullets. They're going to be fine, but in about 13 years, they're going to have to pass them. So 13 years goes by, and she's sitting at home, and her first son comes up to her and says, mommy, mommy, I've got something really important to tell you. I peed on a bullet. She says, she says, okay, come here, sit down. I got a story to tell you. Her daughter comes up to her and says, mommy, mommy, I've got something really super important to tell you right now. I peed on a bullet. She says, okay, come here, sit down. I got a story to tell you. Her second son comes up to her and says, mommy, mommy, I've got something really important I need to tell you. She says, let me guess. You peed a bullet. He says, no, I was masturbating and I shot the dog. So little April isn't the best student in Sunday school. In fact, she sleeps through most of her lessons. So one day her teacher gets fed up with this and asks April a question while she's asleep. The teacher goes, April, who created the universe? And little Johnny, who sits behind her, is trying to save her ass and pokes her with a needle. April shoots up and goes, God almighty. The teacher says, good job. Later in the lesson, April's fallen asleep again. So the teacher does the same thing and goes, April, who is our Lord and Savior? And little Johnny, again, trying to save her ass, pokes her in the back with a needle. And April shoots up and goes, Jesus Christ. And the teacher says, good job, April. April, good job. So later in the lesson, still, April's fallen asleep yet again. And the teacher asks, April, what did Eve say to Adam after she'd had their 23rd kid? And little Johnny pokes her in the back again. But this time, little April shoots up and goes, If you stab that thing in me one more time, I'm going to break it in half and shove it up your ass. The teacher fainted. So there's a man. And all day and all night, his wife is pressuring him to do what he sees as just menial tasks. She's going, oh, do the dishes tonight. Oh, I'm tired. Can you cook dinner? Oh, the refrigerator needs to be fixed. Oh, my car is making weird noises and the brake light's on. So he eventually just gets fed up. He gets a little bit fed up. And so when they both go to sleep, he gets out of bed and he goes over to the computer. And he posts an ad on Craigslist. The ad on Craigslist says, wife wanted. And he goes to sleep happy for just that little bit of validation. He wakes up in the morning and what does he see? But hundreds of replies. He's feeling terrific before he opens one. And then he opens the next one. He opens the third and the fourth and the fifth all the way down. And he realizes they all say the same thing. All of the replies are from men. And they all say, hey, buddy, you can have mine. 
everyone's like, for Valentine's Day, I want a big stuffed animal that I can cuddle and some chocolates that I can eat. What? I'm here to cuddle. Thank you. <laughs> and I definitely got some sweet you can eat. Oh, <laughs> my bad. My bad. I, I'm, I'm so sorry, audience. Um, uh, just uh, d disregard that real quick. Uh, back to the others. So little Johnny's teacher is teaching a class. And at the end of the class, she says, all right, students, I want you to go home and think of a story with a moral. Then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll share them together. So the students come back the next day and the teacher calls on little Susie first. Little Susie says, well, I will live on a farm. And last week we had 12 eggs. We put them all in the incubator and this week only eight of them hatched. Teacher says, very good, what's the moral? And little Susie says, well, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Teacher says, very good. So she calls on little Johnny next. And little Johnny says, my uncle Ted served in Vietnam. He was a pilot. And one day he got shot down, but he survived. You see, he ejected and he grabbed with him a case of beer, a machine gun, and a machete. And as he was falling to the ground, he drank the case of beer. And then he landed in a field with a hundred Vietnamese soldiers in it. And he shot 70 of them with his machine gun before it ran out of ammo. Then he killed the next 20 with his machete before it broke. And he killed the last 10 with his hands. And the teacher, horrified, says, all right, what's the moral? And little Johnny says, don't f with Uncle Ted when he's been drinking. All right, that's the end of the video, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me, let me know what you thought of this. Uh, do you think I should get, like, more from that creator on TikTok? Or do you want me to get more videos from TikTok? Because, honestly, <laughs> this was just kind of an idea I had. Like, it just randomly came in my head <clears throat> once I saw that you can save TikTok videos to your camera roll. Then I thought, you know what? Maybe I could show my viewers the type of stuff I think is funny on TikTok because if I didn't think it was funny, <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to share it with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that would make for a pretty bad video. <laughs> and, and, yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. But either way, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a big fat like on this video. Uh, even though I was already holding up the thumbs up earlier. It's like getting that thumbs up ready. Anyway, my bad. Please like the video, subscribe with notifications on. I love you all. Have a nice day and peace. Oh yeah, everyone. And don't forget what we learned in today's video. Don't with Uncle Ted when he's been drinking.